Train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. So today in the comments I got asked a question and it was in regards to whether somebody should wear sneakers or bare feet or wear you know some sort of special type of shoe when they're squatting or training legs. Now I've talked about this before in previous videos but it has been quite a long time since I have talked about it so it's probably a good idea to bring it up again here. So I use the Adidas skate shoe. Is that close enough for you? Is that close enough for you? Can you see that? Can you see my shoe now? Can you see it? Now the reason why I use a skate shoe. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, ah. ah, fuck it. And I'll put the link down below. So any of you guys that want to get the shoes, if you do use this link, it does uh, support this channel a little bit. But uh, if you go back on my videos, you'll see that I've been using this Adidas skate shoe for the last few years because I just love it. It is one of the best shoes for squatting. Uh, the Converse is another shoe, so maybe I'll put that link down below too as well, so if you want to use that. But the fact is, is that I find a flat bottom shoe works perfect for squats uh, because it doesn't elevate the heel and make a position of instability. So. Again, some people like to have those uh, powerlifting or Olympic lifting type shoes because in Olympic lifting you are forced to stay straight up and down because you're putting weights above your head and you have to lift straight up, okay? So the reason why they want their heels up is because they want to maintain the torso straight up and down. But under most circumstances, when you elevate the toe off the ground and then push off the ball of the foot when you're doing legs or squats or uh, uh, front squats or whatever type of lift you're doing with legs, that'll actually put more pressure on the knee because it takes some of the pressure off the hamstring and transfers it more to the knee, okay? So you really want a flat shoe. If you're just training for the sake of training and bodybuilding, you want a flat shoe. So, you know, you could go with uh, some sort of dance shoe even, you know, but or a skate shoe. Uh, but I find that sneakers like Nike Airs or those types of sh shoes that are meant for running, like running shoes, they're instable because they got that air pocket. So when you're lifting weights and stuff, sometimes depending on how you walk, you'll wear down on the outside or the inside of the shoe, right? Depending on your gait and your stride. So at some point it starts to rotate in a little bit or outwards and it does put stress on your joints a little bit more so than is needed. So. I wouldn't recommend squatting in any sort of instable type of shoe, you know? No high heels either. So if any of you guys are squatting in high heels, don't do that. That's probably not a good idea. I don't think high heels are probably a great bodybuilding idea. Just so you know. I mean, if you want to do that in your spare time, that's up to you. But for squats, no high heels. Okay, good. Now, do I advocate bare feet? Okay, so bare feet, you do have muscles in your feet, okay? You do have muscles in your feet that can get worked by doing calf raises or uh, grabbing onto stuff with your toes, kind of like a monkey, you know, just grabbing onto a towel and, and rolling up that towel, you'll work those muscles underneath the foot that help maintain the arch. Now, do I think that this is relevant when you're squatting with weight? Yeah, maybe you do work those muscles a little bit, but for the sake of risking getting your toe splattered by a plate, if it drops off the rack or a dumbbell or smashing it in the corner of a rack or something, I find that it's an unnecessary risk in the gym and, and really, I think you're better off doing your barefoot stuff in a safer environment. So uh, should you work the muscles underneath your feet? I think it's great. If you work the muscles underneath your feet, you actually will assist yourself with proper posture, less lower back pain, and those shock absorbers in the arch of the foot will start to work a little bit better. So it takes some of the pressure in impact sports off of your knees and your back, okay? So those muscles underneath the arch are, are very good underneath the foot. They're very good for actually alleviating a lot of pain and creating a proper alignment in the knees and the back and everything. But I found that uh, in a weight training type environment, just use a flat bottom shoe. Then when you're out of there, then you can train those muscles underneath the feet uh, separately. Now there are some inserts for shoes out there and I'm not talking about orthotics because orthotics I think are bad in a lot of ways because they splint the foot and they cause the foot to become weaker, right? Those little muscles in there, they never really get used. It's the same thing that happens when you put your arm in a cast for a while. If your arm is in a cast and you don't use your arm, well, your arm just atrophies, right? You lose the muscle in the arm. Well, it's the same thing with the feet. Uh, if the muscles aren't worked, then what will happen is they continue to get weaker. So walking around barefoot or doing calf raises barefoot at home off the stairs or you know, rolling the towel up with your, your big toe and your little toe, rolling that towel up and you know, grabbing onto towels and things or carpet with your feet, that can actually help with increasing the power and strength in your foot and helping maintain that arch underneath the foot. So yeah, so if you need to get uh, any sort of links or anything, you can go to my website uh, for the shoes and stuff. And the links for the shoes are also down below if you want to get a pair. I highly recommend it. And I hope this helps you out with your training. And thanks a lot for watching and make sure you share my stuff.
because some of you guys don't share my stuff. I noticed you don't know where the share button is or something or the, I think your computer's broken. Maybe you need to get up to date, you know, with uh, internet etiquette. Sure would be nice if you shared my stuff. I think it's the nice thing to do. You don't have to do it, but I'll share my own stuff. So thanks a lot for tuning in and take care for now.